Welcome to the Fantail Cricket Workshop. Today I'll be walking you through the Fantail Cricket knocking in process. Now this is the most important time of your bat's life. If you don't get this stage right, you may end up having a cricket bat that doesn't perform to its best, or it may end up cracking or breaking. This is why I recommend you let Fantail Cricket do the job for you. We only charge $49.90 and in return, you receive a match-ready cricket bat. If you were to replicate our process at home, it may take you up to three to four hours to complete. Also, we don't just knock in fantail bats, we knock in all brands of cricket bats, from SS to Kookaburra. Now let's get started. The first step is to apply two coats of linseed oil to the face and edges of the bat. We leave each coat to dry overnight. Linseed oil helps the cricket bat to retain its own moisture and reduces the rate of cracking due to allowing the fibres to stretch rather than crack. We now move on to knocking in the edges and the toe of the bat. We do this by hand using a wooden mallet as these are the weakest and most vulnerable areas of your cricket bat. Strike the edge at 45 degrees to the face so that the mallet can compress the willow and then gradually even out the edge so that the whole surface has a smooth rounded appearance. I repeat this on both edges and then move on to the toe. I concentrate on the corners and slowly build up the power of the knocks, working my way across the toe. It now moves on to our smart knock knocking in machine which does all that a human can do, but better, as it has complete control of each strike with placement and power. It works its way slowly up and down the blade while moving across the blade simultaneously. We slowly increase the knocking power to build up the bat to a level where it is ready to be used in the next session. The machine stops when it gets to 20,000 hits. We then remove it and take it to our net where we run it through a couple of tests to make sure it's properly knocked in. The willow varies in how soft the fibres are, which means some bats require more knocking in than others. Once we are happy, we then add any extras that have been ordered. Today, that includes a tow guard and a clear facing. We then add a coat of our best seller, Fantail Bat Wax. Bat wax acts like a traditional linseed oil by nourishing the willow and the beeswax offers a protective coat by sealing the grain from any excess moisture. We then buff with a lint free cloth to give that polish which linseed oil can't achieve on its own. The knocking in process is now complete and we've got a match ready cricket bat. If you're getting a sports store to knock your bat in, make sure you ask what their process is and try to avoid the stores that press your bat to knock it in. As your bat has already been pressed by its manufacturer, it shouldn't be pressed again as this can often lead to a bat which can lack in performance. As the fibres are often over compressed and no longer have that room to create that spring or ping a bat needs to perform. To get your bat knocked in by Fantail Cricket, you can do one of two things. You can either send it into our workshop we can either organise one of our couriers to pick it up, or you can send it to us via post. Or drop it off to our workshop, which is located in St John's, Auckland. For more information, please visit our website at fantailcricket.com. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.